What's up guys, it is leg day today. I am sipping on my pre-workout and we're gonna do some warm-ups before we get started. So I'm gonna take you guys through a mobility routine that I always use on leg day, especially after my back injury. Um, a lot of the times it's because your hips are tight, so keep that in mind. So I'm gonna be showing you guys a lot of like hip mobility. We're gonna do squats today. We're not gonna go super heavy, especially because I took three weeks off because I was in Japan. <laughs> So we're gonna be focusing on volume today. And then uh, do some leg accessories. So we're gonna start off with squats first. And I'm gonna show you guys all the equipment that I use. So yeah, let's get started. I am drinking my Alpha Lion pre-workout. Co-dressing. Alright, so these are going to be really good for those of you who have trouble in knee knocking and need to learn how to push out with your knees when you're squatting. So, you want to put a band right above your knees, just like so. You want to get into your squat position. You're going to slowly go down and as you're going down, you're going to push your knees out. If you knee knock, the band is just gonna fall. So basically try not to let the band fall from your legs. All right, my friends, I'm gonna show you the equipment that I use on squat day. Number one thing, knee sleeves. For those of you who don't have calves like I do, SBDs are gonna be the best choice because for the inzers, the inzers, they're super stiff and they're great knee sleeves. Especially if you want the weight to feel like freaking air. Those are great, but the only downfall is, is if you don't have calves, bro, those knee sleeves are gonna be looking funky on you. Like, there's gonna be a huge gap right here. So, my second choice is SBDs. Uh, these are pretty stiff. These are definitely my go-tos. Boom. Next up, y'all see me do that a lot. Me and wrist wraps are best friends. And we've been best friends for a very long time. So I continue to use them. The only difference is that these are stiff wrist wraps. And these wrist wraps are from Jim Reapers. Absolutely love them. And third, I got my squat shoes. These have a heel in the back and this helps me just hit depth on squat. And they just make it feel so much easier and better. So I just started using these about a year and a half ago and bro, my squat has been elevated. So these are definitely a must for me. Boom. And last but not least, my belt. Y'all have always asked what belt do I have? So I have an SBD belt. It matches my knee sleeves, I know how cute. But I have an SBD belt and SBD belts are by far the best belt I have ever used in my entire life. Every other lever belt, when you know you gain a little bit of weight or you lose a little bit of weight or you just feel bloated that day, you have to basically unscrew this part and move it in order for your belt to actually fit you. So that is super annoying, but what SBD has created is this doesn't move. This doesn't 
come off the belt. They added a bunch of holes just like this. So it basically acts like a belt for your jeans. So you wrap it around and adjust it to any hole. So if you want it smaller here or looser or you want it tighter, looser, you can adjust. It's adjustable. So you don't have to carry around a screwdriver. You don't have to go ask somebody for a damn screwdriver. Oops. So yeah, SBD belts, 10 out of 10. And I'm in a powerlifting gym, so I bet you anybody here around me, 90% of the people in here have SBD belts. So if you're a powerlifter, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Well, there you have it. That is all the equipment that I use. Um, I'm gonna start warming up with squats. I always warm up with a bar and put on. There's a lot of lights flickering right now. I am gonna have my headphones in because girl today is just one of those days where I just need to lock in you know and it's 10 p.m. so I'm probably gonna be here till like 3 a.m. so if you're new to powerlifting and you never use a combo rack so these racks are adjustable they are my favorite racks in the entire world so right now this is set to number six and I want it to number eight I'm gonna take this arm here and I'm gonna hook it underneath the pin and I'm gonna lift up and I'm gonna stick the new pin in the number that I want it in and then set it down and then put the pin in the pin holder it's easier to adjust when there's no weight on there but if there is weight on there that's totally fine it should be able to hold it just don't try to dramatically lift it to a different number because if there's a lot of weight on one side your bar is going to go so just be careful with that i'm gonna push those knees out all right that feels super good I just noticed that the safety bars are not on. Whoever used this last didn't put them back. Shame on you. So we're gonna put these on. And if you ever run into this situation, they mainly look like fish. And this little area right here attaches to this right here. So there should be a hole down here and you're just gonna slide it in. It's easy as that. Boom. And same thing on these, they have a pin and you can adjust them to your height. Yeah, I'm usually a four, so I'll put it on four. And then there's these little screws on the side that you can just tighten up to make sure these aren't loose. Remember, lighty tidy, lefty loosey. Perfect. All right, so now our squat rack is set. We've got our height, we've got our safety bars, so we can safely lift now. Remember guys, practice safe sets. Guys, I'm sweating already and I just warmed up. I just started warming up. What the heck is wrong with me? One, two, wiggle. I need Cardi B's new song because I need to get locked in. <laughs> you like that belt thing, huh, baby? <laughs> A lot of people 
people, when they're putting their belt on, they do the number one mistake of sucking in and then clipping their belt. That's not doing anything. What you want to do is you want to have your brace set already before you latch your belt in. So um, I want you to do this with me, okay? Brace and latch your belt in. You should feel it. It should feel completely different and it should sound completely different. We are going to add five kgs on each side and we are going to do this for six reps and we're going to do this for three sets. So let's get it. Okay guys, update. Squats feel heavy today. My hands are sore because I've been rock climbing. So, goddamn. But we got one more set. It's our last set. So, last set, best set. Let's get it. This is my last set. I got a spotter because that girl has been tough today. It's been tough. So, don't be afraid to ask for a spotter, okay? If you need a spotter, even though you've done this weight a million times, if you still need one, it's okay to ask for help, okay? Leave the eagle at home. <laughs> oh, my hair got in my mouth. I almost choked. <laughs> okay, guys. Let me catch my breath. God damn. So I am done with squats. Now we are moving on to accessories. <laughs> All right, it's time for hip thrust. We're gonna do this for 10 reps, three sets. I haven't done these in like years, so I'm super weak. That's okay, because the longer you pause, the harder it is, regardless of what weight you have on. Even if you just use your body weight, it's still gonna be hard. It's just how you do it. Remember that. My gym doesn't have a barbell pad, nor do I own one. So I found these little squishy things and we're gonna use that today. <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to move them a little bit this way. There he goes. Not theirs. There's perfect. Okay, here we go. There we go, that's good. All right, I'm gonna put the pad right here so we can protect ourselves. <sighs> All right, Cardi B, help me. Oh, you son of a Yo! My cheeks! Ow! My ass! My ass! I left the booty sweat stain. Y'all see it from there? <laughs> All right, my hands are freaking raw from rock climbing. So I have my gym shark straps that I'm gonna be using to help me out with some grip strength because my palms hurt. Okay, so we are gonna be doing reverse single leg lunges. These are my fave. Ay, ay, ay. It's already like one in the morning and I'm dead. So we fight. We fight, girl. Last thing, fam. This is. This has been my favorite. I've been doing it single legged and it burns, but it's been helping a lot with my lower back. 
because she's getting stronger and stronger. Knee sleeves need to come off, bro. My legs are losing circulation. Oh, whew. I don't even need smelling salts, bro. My knee sleeves aren't enough. I need to wash them. Here we go. Wait, I don't even know why I have these on. I'm losing it. I'm losing it. All right, guys, I am done. I'm out of here. I am so tired. I think it's like one in the morning. I need to go home to my doggies. So, um, yeah, that was today's leg day. I am sweating. My hair is messed up. But we came. We got it done. Now let's go home, eat, rest up. And tomorrow is cardio day. So it's sort of like my active rest day. So, yeah. I'll see you guys next time.